for coming today. We are we are recording, um, just to let you know. Um, it is now 12.05 p.m. on September 29th, 2021, and in accordance with the public notice issued by the Massachusetts Department of Energy Resources, the department hereby opens the public hearing on the proposed 225 CMR9 Appliance Energy Efficiency Standards Testing and Certification Program, or the Appliance Standards Regulations. This is the first and only public hearing that the department will conduct on these regulations. As stated in the public notice, the proposed appliance standards regulations address requirements pursuant to Mass General Laws Chapter 25B and updates to reflect current federal law. The purpose of this public hearing is to receive verbal and written testimony on the proposed appliance standards regulations. As indicated in the public notice, written testimony will be accepted until 5 p.m. today for the proposed appliance standard regulations. This public hearing is being recorded and we will post it to the department's website. The department requests that to the extent possible, parties also submit written copies of their testimony. Uh, the department also requests that parties aim to limit their comments. Um, and if you do not have enough time, we may ask to come back to you after other parties have been given an opportunity to speak. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Thanks again to everyone for joining. We'll move into the uh, comment portion of today's hearing. It is DOER's practice to recognize any public officials wishing to provide verbal or written testimony first and allow them to proceed. So if there's any public officials on the hearing today, please go ahead and unmute yourself or use the hand raise function to provide comment. Okay, not seeing any public officials. So with that, we will move into comment. As Sarah said, if you could please limit your comments to three minutes and we will go back to commenters if we have time at the end. Uh, to register to provide public comment, there's two options. You can use the chat function to let us know you'd like to provide verbal testimony um, or you can use the hand raise function. So both of those are found at the bottom of your screen, chat function, and then under reactions, you'll see the hand raise function. So if you'd wish to provide verbal testimony, please go ahead and use either of those now. Okay, let's start with Katie Riley. Thank you very much. Um, my name is Katie Riley and I'm the Senior Director of Environmental and Sustainability Policy at the Consumer Technology Association. We go by the acronym CTI. Uh, we're North America's largest technology trade association and we represent the manufacturers and brand owners of computers and computer monitors that will be subject to the revised appliance energy efficiency standards. Um, these manufacturers and brands also comply with the California Energy Commission or CEC standards for computers and monitors, uh, which are referenced in the draft revisions. Um, we just wanted to make sure that DOER was aware that the CEC recently issued a compliance advisory in response to a December 9th, 2020 um, CEC adopted amendments to the appliance efficiency regulations to incorporate several new technologies pertaining to computers and computer monitors. Um, compliance with those regulations becomes effective on December 9th of 2021. So um, just coming up soon here at the end of the year. Um, CTA is concerned that the current language in the um, draft revision, it may not capture the forthcoming changes to California's regulations. The current proposed revision references the CEC regulations um, in quotes as in effect on the effective date of this section, end quote. Um, so given that the effective date of this section could be before or after um, December 9th, 2021, um, we would just suggest changing that language to the state, um, in quotes, in effect as of December 9th, 2021, end quote. Um, for us, this simple change, which aligns with recent proposed changes to Oregon's appliance efficiency standards um, and a recent announcement that Washington is going to be updating their language as well. Um, we'll just allow the Commonwealth to maintain consistency with California and additionally establishing the date in regulatory language will provide industry the assurance that the Commonwealth is referencing the most up-to-date version of California's regulations. Um, so with that, those are the only comments that we have. I'll be submitting written comments after this hearing, but I'm happy to answer any questions. Thank you, Katie.
anyone else who'd like to provide verbal testimony, go ahead and use the chat function or the raise hand function. All right, Marianne DeMatthew. Hi, whoops, excuse me. Um, I'm Marianne DeMasio from the Appliance Standards Awareness Project, and we work on appliance efficiency standards at the state and federal level, and uh, very supportive of the document that you put together for this rulemaking. Um, we will submit comments this afternoon where we have um, two, two comments in there about, um, one is very minor, just a wording change, and uh, Another is about residential ventilating fans and the, the levels that um, were set and due to the long nature of the passage of the bill uh, changed over the time. And I believe industry is going to submit comments that we support about that. Um, and I'd also like to support what Katie Riley just said about CTA, we're in support of that change also. So thank you very much. Thank you, Marianne. Anyone else wishing to provide verbal testimony, go ahead and use the chat function or raised hand function. So far, I don't see anybody else. Give it just one more minute if anyone wants to sign up to provide verbal testimony, chat function or raise hand function. Okay, not seeing any additional verbal comments. Um, thank you everyone for joining and we will keep this uh, Zoom hearing open until 2 p.m., which is the formal end date of the hearing. Um, but we will uh, go ahead and shut video off. And if anyone else joins, uh, we'll reopen back up for more comments. So up to all of you if you want to stay on the call or, or jump off the call. But we will stay on until 2 p.m. in case there's additional comments. Um, thanks, everyone, for joining. And again, encourage you all to submit written comments to the extent you can to DOER. And can you please um, say and spell your name because it's showing up as someone else on the um, underlined thing. Okay. Yeah, my name is Patrick Nielsen, N-I-E-L-S-E-N -E with Brown dash Newtone. You got that? Yeah, I was commenting. Um, I submitted the same comment um, via via writing, but I guess just to reiterate regarding the regulation with residential ventilation fans, um, I understand the original language is passed, called for meeting Energy Star version 4.1 requirements, and um, as Marianne has likely um, mentioned, with ASAP. They're, they've changed the language they're looking for now to look at version 3.2 and then to focus on the ventilation efficacy requirements only. Um, you know, that being the CFM per watt, which I assume that is the part you're concerned about, the energy efficiency. Um, part of the Energy Star specification requires that the sound level be a maximum of two sounds. And um, consumer research shows that a lot of people want louder fans than that, you know, for kind of, if you want to call it cover noise <laughs> or other reasons. Um, so just commenting, you know, that I recommend going to version 3.2, um, those efficacy levels. And if we go to, um, again, that's what most of the other states are doing, as Marianne can attest to. And, um, you know, going that extra efficiency level will, you know, drive up prices for consumers considerably, so. Now, there's any questions? 
No, thank you. Um, so we look forward to your, your written comments. Actually, I think you already submitted them, so thank you. Okay, all right, thank you. All right, so we're gonna go back off of video um, and keep the uh, line open until two if anybody else comes on. <laughs>